Congratulations on the arrival of your new Creators Mach 5 popper. This popper should not require much in order to begin making delicious smelling and tasting popcorn, other than plugging it into an outlet supplying the proper voltage. We here at Creators want to take a few minutes and help you understand the features and functionality of your new popper. The exhaust system on your machine is designed to capture and eliminate as much of the grease-laden vapor before it is exhausted. Because of this, your machine will only pop corn while your ventless hood is turned on and working. The ventless hood utilizes three separate filters, which all need to be in place in order for the hood to work. Ensure each of these are installed and seated properly in their channels, and that they are in contact with their sensors in the back of this housing. Because this hood is necessary for the operation of the machine, great care needs to be taken in cleaning and maintaining these filters. For information on proper cleaning techniques and understanding the indicator lights and alarms for this ventless hood, watch the video on our YouTube channel at Creators Pop. The last thing to do is install the access door. To replace this door, you simply line the top of the door up with its channel, lift up on the door, then push the bottom of it inward so it can seat properly in this channel. Finally, slide the door down and engage a plunger switch. When you turn on the exhaust switch, you should hear an audible beep. and the indicator lights for the hood should light up. With the exhaust on and operating, you can now power on the rest of the circuits in the machine. Once the kettle heat switch is on, you should see the digital controller illuminate and display the current temperature of the kettle. Add your measured corn, salt, and oil into the kettle. Press the green one pop button to start the heat for the popping cycle. Note the green one pop on and amber kettle heat on indicator lights are illuminated. Then close the lid. The one pop function is a patented creators feature that is available on poppers that provides both safety and energy efficiency benefits. With the push of a button, the kettle will begin to heat Pop a batch of corn, and then turn itself off after one popping cycle. Since the kettle heat shuts off automatically at the end of the popping cycle, the kettle does not continue to heat when not in use, saving energy, while also providing a level of safety if the kettle is left unattended. Popping cycles should average about four minutes, and a correctly calibrated popper will have the indicator light shutting off when the kettle gets to the set point of the controller, about 10 to 20 seconds before you dump the kettle. In this example, the indicator lights stayed on well after dumping the kettle, letting us know the temperature is set too high and needs to be adjusted down. To adjust the temperature, press the set button on the digital controller, which will toggle from the current temperature to the set point of the kettle. To make an adjustment, press the up or down arrows to the desired temperature. Then press the set button again to toggle back to the current temperature display. In this example, we are adjusting the temperature down from 400 degrees to 375 degrees.
you make another batch of corn, you will again add your measured corn, salt and oil into the kettle. Press the green one pop button to start the heat for the popping cycle, then close the lid. On subsequent poppings, when the temperature is above the set point of the kettle, you will notice that the green one pop indicator light turns on, but the amber colored heat light is not on. Once the kettle temperature drops down to the set point on the digital controller, the kettle will again begin to heat and the amber colored heat light will turn on as well. Remember to watch that the indicator lights are shutting off when the kettle gets to the set temperature on the digital controller about 10 to 20 seconds before you dump the kettle. On your final popping, after dumping the kettle and returning it to the level position, close the kettle cover and turn off the kettle heat, agitator, and exhaust switches. After popping corn, regardless if you popped one batch or multiple batches, you want to sift and mix what is in the cabinet. Some tips for this process is to make sure the metal of the scoop is in contact with the metal of the popper base to prevent breakage of the popped corn. Sift the corn by moving side to side over the holes in the popper screen to allow the broken pieces and unpopped kernels to fall into the waste drawer. After sifting, mix the corn by tossing inside the cabinet and then piling the corn up against the front and side glass. The unpopped kernels and scrap falls through the screen and is caught in the waste drawer. You should remove this drawer and carry it to a garbage can to dump the scraps as needed based on your quantity of popping throughout the day. Popcorn soaks up moisture from the air at a very fast rate when the popcorn is at room temperature. This popper has a corn conditioner which circulates warm air into the cabinet. In order to keep your popcorn fresh and crisp, you want to leave your corn conditioner running as long as you have popcorn in your cabinet. It is also best to keep the doors closed and the exhaust off so that you trap this warm air inside the cabinet. You are now ready to make and sell fresh, delicious popcorn. Contact our sales department with any questions or comments regarding this machine.